Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now, <laughs> it's a good job that I'm filming this today and not last night because I was at Static. It's Static that I found out this hack. Now, a couple of years ago I did film a video on me trying to gesso a colouring page and then using markers over the top, you know, to uh, stop it from bleeding through so you could use your markers on um, double sided colouring pages. So these are the markers that I really like, the Ohuhu ones. So, anyway, I prepped a page with the watercolour, the Daniel Smith watercolour grind to purely use for watercolour. This is mostly watercolour. Um, then last night, I already had my, my alcohol markers out because I was working on a different page. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to test it, I'm going to test it, which probably wasn't a smart idea because I love this book and it's out of print. But I tested it and that whole mouse all the the darker detailing all around here here is alcohol marker and look nothing has bled through now when i did this last time it was an epic fail you can't see any bleed through there i'm over the moon so i'm going to pick another page out just to show you how i'm going to prep this page now the only thing is with this you have to be a bit patient it does take it doesn't take 24 hours to dry but it does say that it, uh, it is better to leave it for 24 hours. Um, don't use a heat gun or anything to speed up the drying time. So I'll just do your page the morning, the night before uh, to work on it. That's what I did with this one. Now there was a page that I picked out and I do need to pop a little bit of masking tape down. Where's it gone now? I didn't tag it. Um, was it further back? It was a dead cute one, dead, dead cute. And you probably think I'm crazy but just testing it in this beautiful book, but it worked. It worked, and now I can use alcohol markers in this book. So I think I'm either going to do this one or this one. I think I'm going to do... There was another one as well that I really liked. Was it that one with the peacock feathers? It was this one. So I really like this one. I'm going to do this one. I need my tape. This one's just a low tack tape. I mean, I suppose I don't have to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to be careful of the edges. I'm just going to be careful of the edges. And all I did was I had my water ready. Got a big brush. And then I've got the actual watercolour ground. And then I used the lid. So I pop a little bit. It's half empty this. Half empty. Pop a little bit into the lid. Now this should do the full page. The full page. I'm not going to wet the lid straight onto the colouring page and you think, thinking oh my god what's she doing <laughs> because that's what I was thinking when I first basted these pages and the brush is really really dry now so I'm going to dip it into the water just the once take off any excess and then spread this ground that's weird spread this ground out now I do want to do a couple of very 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 thin layers of this and it will lighten the uh, liner ever so slightly, but it just depends how much of the watercolour ground that you use. So I will have to film this video over two days. So I can't tell you one thing and then do another. So I'll have to be patient myself, but I'm so excited to show you how this works. So any of your colouring pages now, you can just prep them with this. I do get a couple of questions like which are my favourite books to work with watercolour and now I sort of you can work in any book that you want using this method. Now it's not cheap this um, watercolour ground. I think this small tub cost me about £20 but I got this ages ago and you can see how much I've got left. It'll still last me quite some time. You can get an even bigger tub I believe if you want it to really last you. Over oh, the centre bit. Oh, that was my door then, it wasn't it with the radiator. So yeah, it works obviously beautiful with the watercolour so I can do a lovely effect with all this open area and then 
for the other details, alcohol markers and then pencil over the top and it really will be a mixed media page. I mean you're not going to get, if I did like a galaxy background on this, it's going to look different than if I used uh, watercolour paper, That's just, it's just, you know, it's fact. But it's going to be the closest, um, whoops a daisy, it's going to be the closest to you achieving that effect without using watercolour paper. Like I said, I was just absolutely thrilled last night and it was just why I thought to use alcohol markers over the watercolour, I don't know, but I'm so glad that I did now. So you can see that the paper is crinkling up ever so slightly, so at this stage now, be a little bit more careful with how much water that I'm using. And then just be patient, leave it on the side, forget about it, and then you can come back and put all your beautiful bright alcohol markers and it won't bleed through, and it won't bleed through. So I'll try and link, I don't even know if I've got it live anymore because it was such, <laughs> such a bad video back then. Um, but if, if it's still live I'll link it in the, in the description because it's quite funny actually seeing um, how much I fail. <laughs> but yeah, a couple of years later I've managed it. So I think that's enough now, it has crinkled a little bit but you know your beak will flatten out. Make sure you're, you wash your brush straight away, you don't want any of this watercolour ground staying in your brush. It will uh, interfere with it and it won't work very well. So yeah, now the waiting commences, so I'll see you tomorrow. So it's the next day now, I've left this to dry overnight and I popped uh, my watercolour, it's a really thick, um, not card, what's it, I don't know what you call it, but it's like a big thick book, uh, it's really heavy just to flatten it down so you can see it's flattened the beautifully now. And I've pulled out my Ohuhu markers just here. Get my little, just test the colours on here because I never actually swatched the whole lot out. I just, this is the way that I do it and this is the way that works. So I do know that I want these flowers in a purple shade. So let me check. A couple of purple shades. I think I like that one straight away. Let me check one or two more. There's a more of a pastel shade here. No, I still prefer the first one. I'm going to go ahead with this, so we'll do, we'll do this one here and then check the other side for any bleed through. I didn't have any issues when I did this last time. It's a smooth surface as well, not like gesso, so it won't ruin your markers. That's one concern that I did have. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. I mean, you can do blending as well with alcohol markers, but I'm not overly great at that. So I'll stick with using markers as a base and then popping pencil over the top. It's just what works for me. So I'll fill all this in as best as I can. Oh, I feel a sneeze coming. Oh, excuse me. Right, so I'll bring it down a little bit more. So that's part of the branch then, isn't it? And then one last petal here. Well, there's a bit there that I missed as well. There's a big bit that I missed there. Right, so let's check the back. Da da! Nothing. I know that this is a light shade, I'm gonna have to keep this out to colour, colour the rest. Uh, I'll pick a darker shade to, to do uh, some of the leaves just to, you know, prove that it works. Um, what about this one? Bronze green. That'll do. So we'll do a couple on this side and a couple on this side, I think. I 
I thought purple flowers because they go nice with like a purpley blue peacock feathers when I eventually do them. I just find using alcohol markers though, it, it's sort of like, because it's taking away the white of the paper, it's not as scurry then to pick other colours to go with it. And I do definitely recommend these Ohuhu ones. I do have the large set of Lamouche ones, but I still prefer these. I prefer culprits over these, but who's got uh, that sort of money to, to buy all them? Um, uh, I'll do a few more here. What I will do actually, I'll pull. I think I've got, yeah, my Prisma colours are out. Um, so I'll pull a couple of colours out and then do some more finer details on these leaves just so you can see what it'll actually look like. And make sure I remember to keep them markers out. Make sure you tell me so I don't forget. So look, opposite side, no bleed through. How brilliant is that? How brilliant is that? I'm so happy that I found this out. Right, I'll get my Prisma colours. Yeah, I'll get my Prisma colours. And then we'll add some uh, finer details to these. Bring you down a little bit closer. Just pulled out two prisma colours here. One in Prussian green and one in olive green. Is that pencil going to break? See the colour? I absolutely adore Prisma colours, but the issue with the breakage is very, very annoying. I'll try and use a light hand here. Just get the initial shading done. I think what I might do as well is finish this specific page in a time lapse so you can see what alcohol markers is going to look like for the whole thing and I'll do watercolour on the background as well. Just to deepen it up a little bit more. Do this one up here. The pencil's gonna go. <laughs> oh dear. It's hanging on for dear life, that pencil now, the car. Now, that's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. I've just used two pencils to add a tiny bit of shade in there. But I'm I'm over the moon. I'm over the moon with this. So are you going to try this uh, hack out? Hack out. Even though the Daniel Smith watercolour grind is marketed towards watercolour and it does a beautiful job at that, you can use it as well with alcohol markers. Now. I wouldn't have found that out if I didn't take the risk and yes I was being very very risky by doing that in this beautiful book but I'm so glad that I did. Just be warned, you can see the difference there, it does lighten up the line art so if you don't like that, you know, you're not going to like this but if you do want it a bit darker, the line art, I suppose you could go over it with the pencil I mean that would take forever and a day, find you but anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one Bye.